it was sad to hear that this was such a bittersweet experience for you. On one end, you played such a wonderful character. On the other end, it's sad to hear that media, news media, censor themselves. So, so how did you react to this uh, situation? You just enjoy the shooting and the character? or No, no. We fought every day. Every day. We, you know, we tried to make it better every day. Mm -hmm. and but it's difficult when uh, people yeah. are scared, I yeah. don't know by what, by, by, by things that everyone knows. Yeah. It's, sad that it's, not, it's actually quite mindless <laughs> and um, thoughtless yeah. and damaging For the because without telling the reach of his crime, without saying you know, that these institutions knew and agreed to and were culpable, you're not telling the story. Yeah, and the risk is to be sympathetic to him instead of judging him for what he is. And um, I found interesting, I don't know if it was intentional, but it was very interesting, this comparison between the cancer that affects his family and is a real cancer to society, guys like him. Is it true? And uh, how do you see him? Uh, well, that this was, type that of was the, the innovation of the director. Oh. He, he brought that, and I thought it was fascinating. Yeah. It was not critical. It's, it's kind of aesthetic that went into the film. Um, it certainly does seem like there's a, a parallel between the two. <laughs> so, and it's too bad that people don't pay attention to it. Yeah. And how do you explain a character like that? I mean, he, he, he claims he's, in, he's a magician, but it's a fraud. He, he's a fraud, he's a monster. He, he ruined millions of people. And how do you explain, do you get in touch with a person like that? Playing him, playing him. What, where you reach him where in, in yourself to, to play him? You know, we do it every day. You, you'll see a story on television about an earthquake in Italy. And you see a town destroyed and many people are dead. And then they don't talk about it and they show something else. And you forget completely about this human tragedy that happened yesterday. And we do that without blinking. Yeah. And um, I saw recently uh, a theater piece, a very good theater piece about the Lemon Brothers. Uh, and there seems to be, I don't know, uh, a recurring theme of these Jewish families, uh, very also uh, religious, uh, and they, they, they chose to, to play with money. Why? To, to, it's, 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 the money for money is, is insane, you know? You, you don't create anything. You just... Well, uh, you know, it's, it's something... It's, 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 the things are taught without context. Yeah. So that no one realized that there was a connection between uh, the people today who yeah. came to this country, came to the United States in the 19th century, and the thousand years before that, yeah. when usury was denied yeah, was to Christians by the Pope, and, and the Jews were nominated to yeah, do it. Yeah, historical. And yeah. they said, since the Jews are going to hell anyway let them do it yeah. and they were also the ones who collected the rent for the nobles and they were the the face yeah. of money and so that's yeah. why they hated jews yeah. and but jews were restricted from doing things yeah. attached to the land so they had to develop mobile tools like money yeah. and um, uh, medicine. So there were doctors and yeah. there were lawyers and there were tax people yeah. and like that. Yeah, but it's very, in this case, it's not that just money. It, it's just a way to play with, with money. There's nothing concrete. I mean, uh, it's, 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 <laughs> it's better to have money that, than not to have money. <laughs> so, sure, sure. But. And the, the, everyone in America suffers from the fact that we don't have any yeah. other ethical attachments yeah. anymore. Yeah. And I think all of Europe 
yes, you're suffering the same it's true, it's true. thing. It's true. And you told me last time that you went um, to talk with the students and the school. Uh, do you still do this? And oh, maybe yeah. now it's more than ever we need it uh, to, to, to yeah. teach them. Uh, history and uh, their values, because uh, I don't think in Italy we are much better, but we don't have a Trump for the moment, so maybe well, you had slightly. A Trump. You we already had, had a Trump. You had, yeah, but <laughs> it, it was less dangerous because he, has, he had m less power, I think. Uh, well, we'll see, because Ber uh, Berlusconi. <laughs> yeah, he was attached to communication. Yeah, like media, that. yeah. Like so he, he really had it. enormous reach, enormous power, and um, isn't it interesting that we all share this apathy about it? We don't yeah. get angry. We yeah. don't get outraged that they're stealing from us. Yeah. They're stealing yeah. from our children. And yeah. we let them. It's we like destiny. It. Like, yeah. As if it's not our lives. It's just something we're watching. Yeah. Yeah. Well, it's not. It's something that we have power. To yeah. effect, yeah, and, maybe and then we don't do it. There will be other um, Madoffs in the future. I hope not, but I fear there will be. Oh, there are now. There are. Still. There are. They've confessed, and they are not being punished. Oh. It's crazy. <laughs> and Trump is the perfect ending to a spiral yeah. of decay yeah. that has been happening for 30 years. Yeah. Now we have a self-professed, ignorant, misogynistic, yeah. Idiot.